It is party convention season in New York, and one of those meetings could bring New York a step closer to legal recreational marijuana. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Democrats are expected to endorse legalization very soon at the convention going on right now. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing explains what's happening. The parties are meeting, and while delegates are nominating candidates for the state's top offices, there's one issue heating up, recreational marijuana. The Progressive Caucus made a recommendation to the Dems' executive committee. That a resolution be passed on the floor in support of the legislation that would legalize for adult use. The executive committee has approved that. Uh, in their meeting of earlier today. At the conventions, resolutions are considered. Has this issue ever been brought up on the floor or at a convention that you've attended? No, not ever. Does this signify that it appears that New York State may be moving in that direction? It does appear that way to me. It certainly encourages me. India Walton is with Open Buffalo Justice and Opportunity. She's a proponent of legalized marijuana, especially to combat the disparity in arrests. It's not a question of whether marijuana is going to be legalized. It's just really a matter of when. Um, so we just need to be very diligent and make sure that when that happens, that we're prepared to, to enter the industry, to demand that we are redressing the harms of the failed war on drugs, and to really be able to move forward in a meaningful and equitable way for all people. The governor has a study looking at recreational marijuana legalization, which should be released soon. And Crystal People Stokes expects a vote on the floor around 6 or 7 this evening. Now, remember, this is the state Democratic Party convention. Could there be enough votes to see recreational marijuana pass this year? Probably in the Assembly, but not necessarily in the state Senate. But People Stokes thinks that, too, could change. More on that at 6 o'clock. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.